and welcome to another episode of Tech Advocation. In this video, I'm going to be installing a Seagate Momentus XT 750GB drive into my MacBook Pro from 2009. Now, I believe this also applies to the 2008 version as well as the 2000, all the way up to the new ones. Um, yeah. So, what you'll need. You will need a new hard drive. You will need a Philips Zero size uh, screwdriver. This one's from my hel RC helicopter, actually. You will need a T6 Torx screwdriver. These can be, these were really hard for me to find, but I finally found one. Uh, so you need that. And you might be wondering why I have an ice tray here. That's to sort the screws because there are different size screws and I don't want to lose them. So, first thing you need to do is you have to undo one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws around the outside on the back of the MacBook. Make sure it's off first and make sure that you've backed up all your data to an external hard drive or to a time capsule before starting. So please note that one, two, three, these three along the back are significantly longer than the other ones, but the screw, like the part that actually screws into it, is the same size. And these, the other screws are really, really tiny, which is why I have this ice box so that I don't lose them. So I will come back after I've undone all the screws. So I've taken out all the screws. You can see how tiny these ones are and how much longer those are, but the, but the um, there's not much thread on them. So I'm just gonna, from the back, there's like a little hole, you just take off the back panel. There it is. Just gonna put it down there. So, parts of the MacBook. You've got the battery, memory, CPU and fan, CD drive, and hard drive. So what you wanna do is there's a little bracket holding it down. So there's one screw there, one screw there. You wanna use the same Phillips screwdriver to unscrew those two. So I will do that. So it comes out like that. And then you want to pull on this clear tab and pull the hard drive straight out. I'm just going to put down the So next what you want to do is there's a SATA connector which you want to be really really gentle about. And then with your finger just wiggle it out very very gently. So there's the hard drive. So now what you want to do is you want to take your Torx screwdriver and do one, two, three, four screws on the hard drive. And I will come back after I've done that. So I have taken out the four Torx screws around the edge. So the next, and I've opened up the new hard drive. So the next thing you want to do is you want to remove the sticky part off the hard drive. Carefully and then apply it into the same spot on the new hard drive. And then just press it down, just like that. So that's the right spot. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to put the Torx screws from that you took out of the old one and put them into the four uh, holes on the new one. So there are the screws on the new hard drive. So now what you want to do, when I move the camera right here so that you can see it better. Uh, no, not really. But essentially, essentially it clips, you, there's, you, there's a hole right here. Or first you want to attach the SATA cable. So if you just put it in. So just attach the SATA cable and then slide it in and then push down on the other side and then screw in the bracket. So when you're putting in this little black bracket, you want to make sure that the orange pieces line up with the orange pieces in there. So just go ahead and do that. So once you've done that, your hard drive is fully installed and all you have to do is Re 
put on put back on the cover and put in all the screws so just a reminder these back three are the longer ones and the rest of them are significantly shorter make sure that they're in all the way otherwise they will scratch whatever surface they're on i've had that happen before and that is not good so thanks for watching this episode of tech application don't forget to comment rate and subscribe Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X Lion if you just replace the hard drive. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to plug it in to make sure that uh, you don't run out of power when you're installing it. Turn it on, hold down Option, and then insert the DVD. The cursor should appear and the disc will show up in just a minute. So Mac OS X, so I'm just gonna hit install. And you have to do this no matter what operating system you're installing. So, so you know that it's done when you see a cursor and the screen color will stop or will change and there will be no more uh, gear. So in just a second we'll see the line screen. By the way, it took a while for it to boot up, and that's normal. So what you want to do, since it's a new DVD, or if it's a if it's a um, used hard drive already, and you're just wiping it and installing Lion, then you can hit reinstall Mac OS X. If not, you have to hit Disk Utility first, and then hit Continue, and you have to format the drive before you can continue. Interesting how it already connected to my network, but anyway. So it'll load, it'll make more noise, da -da 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 -da. it'll say gathering disk information. Come on. Okay, so you want to click on the drive that you have, hit partition, hit plus, and then make sure it's macOS and extended journaled and then you want to name it if you're if it's your main hard drive Macintosh HD so just like that and then options make sure that GUID partition table is selected hit OK then hit apply and it will hit partition this will erase anything on the drive shouldn't take too long and then, um, there, all done. Partition complete. So now you can see that there's a partition there. So I'm going to close that, hit reinstall Mac OS X Lion, set up and install a new copy of Lion. That's what I want to do. Hit continue. And the beautiful Lion, hit continue. It might spin a little. Continue. Agree, hit the drive that you want, and hit install. So, I'm going to leave it here, and yeah, thanks for, and by the way, it will restart once, and then after, uh, in another video, I will show you how to copy all your 
stuff from your old hard drive onto your new version of Mac OS X Lion. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.